Hi, I'm Nichelle Aiden at the Capitol with Senator Henderson to talk about Senate Bill 71 about food trucks. First, can you tell us a little bit about the success that you've had in the past? Sure, this is our third year in a row of running a food truck bill. And, um, you know, when we first started, I had no idea how we even had food trucks operating in the state of Utah. There were so many hurdles and obstacles uh, for these food trucks to be able to overcome to even operate in any city, let alone multiple cities and multiple counties. So we streamlined that process a few years ago. Um, it saved tens of thousands of dollars um, for each food truck individually over the last couple of years, just in regulatory costs, compliance costs, and fees that they have saved because of, of the the process that we've undergone here at the legislature. So this is our third year in a row now of, of trying to tighten down and fine tune um, this legislation. Awesome, and so tell us a little bit about your current bill. So what the current bill does, um, I actually have a substitute, so if anyone's read the current version, it's, it's gonna be a little different than that. Um, it does a couple of things. First of all, it tightens down some of the language. Cities are uh, specifically uh, stated in current code that they can, that nothing that we say prohibits them from enacting their land use ordinances and, and all of those things. Um, so some of them are kind of being naughty and going around and saying, well, our land use ordinances prohibit all of these things and therefore that trumps this current state law. So we're just saying that as long as those things don't conflict with this chapter of law, then you know it, they can enact those, those land use ordinances. So we're just trying to kind of, it's like when you squeeze the balloon, it kind of pops out somewhere else. So <laughs> we're, we're fixing that, t tying that back down. It also, um, there is an issue with fees. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the fees are supposed to cover the actual regulatory burdens placed on the cities um, for registering these these uh, food trucks um, and some cities are really good at that a lot of cities don't even have any fee reciprocal licensing fees mm -hmm. but some cities are still really excessive and so this is is we're putting a cap on the fees and right now in the bill that the new bill that will come out today that cap is $25 for a reciprocal license fee wow. um, but we're still kind of working to make sure we're hitting the right spot Okay, uh, last question, why, why does this issue matter so much? Why have you worked on it for three years? Well, I believe in the free market, and when it came to food trucks, we really didn't have a free market. We had some cities who were outright banning food trucks, others that were banning it just by their ordinances. They were in effect, the ordinances were so difficult to comply with, they were in effect banning food trucks, and, and that's just not how we should be doing business in the state of Utah. Perfect. For more information or to contact your legislator, just click on the link in the description below. Perfect. Thank you so much.